One of the things that you need to be looking for in a healthy church is, does that church pray? Now, this may seem kind of like a, well, duh thing, but you would actually be surprised at how many churches don't place a big emphasis on prayer. We're going to be talking about that topic and much more on today's episode of I Believe. Now what? Hey everybody, my name's Tim, and if this is your first time here, we are a podcast backslash YouTube channel, whatever you want to call it, really just a ministry that wants to talk about the now what that comes after you say, I believe. And one of the important things when it comes to that now what is finding a healthy church. So we're going to add to our playlist of what to look for in a healthy church today, and today we're specifically talking about prayer. Now, while it is important, prayer in our individual Christian walk of life, and you will find verses all over the Bible to support that. Another thing that we need to understand about prayer is the importance of praying as a local body, as a community, as a church. The importance of prayer in a church cannot be understated. And because we want to base everything that we talk about on this channel, on the Bible, we're going to go to 1 Timothy chapter 2, starting at verse 1, to find really where we see this big emphasis on prayer in church. Just to set the context, this is the Apostle Paul writing to his disciple Timothy. Now, if you didn't know, Paul would often go plant a church somewhere, and then Timothy would kind of stay on to make sure that they were in good doctrinal practice. And these are the letters that Paul would would write to Timothy, 1st and 2nd Timothy, when he was going through this journey of bringing up these churches. And we can get so many good, amazing truths out of 1st and 2nd Timothy when it comes to church. The passage reads, First of all, then I urge that entreaties and prayers, petitions and thanksgivings be made on behalf of all men for kings and all who are in authority, so that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. This is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator also between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, the testimony given at the proper time. For this was I appointed a preacher and apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying as a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. Therefore, I want the men in every place to pray, lifting up holy hands without wrath and dissension. There is just so much that you can pluck out of that particular passage when it comes to praying as a church. So I kind of want to lay that down as the foundation as we talk about what to look for in a healthy church that prays. Now we can sit here and talk about all the philosophical things that come along with that passage and how we want to deal with it. I want to kind of show you some cold, hard facts, some things that are very tangible that you can look for in identifying a church that places a high emphasis on prayer. And the number one thing being prayer meetings. Now, this is obviously one of the most obvious signs when it comes to looking for a church that prays, but do they hold prayer meetings? You would actually be surprised how many churches do not do prayer meetings or maybe only do them sporadically. Part of the most healthiest churches that I've been a part of place a giant emphasis on these prayer meetings, and they're all ran, you know, a little different. Some do them weekly, some do them monthly, and others may have a special time set aside where the staff prays and other times where the entire congregation comes together. But at the end of the day, they may make sure that they place on their schedule, on their time, a regularly appointed time to come together and pray as a body. If your church is not holding prayer meetings or you are looking for a church and potentially the one you're looking at does not hold prayer meetings, this is something that I would bring up to the leadership of that church and say, hey, why don't we start doing some prayer meetings? Nothing bad can come out of some iron sharpens iron like that. Another healthy, tangible sign to look for is praying before the worship 
worship service. Now, this is something that I actually first saw at a church that I was attending down in Louisiana, and people would just come to church about a half hour early before the service started, sometimes an hour early, and just go there to pray. This wasn't something that was mandated. It wasn't something that the pastor put out. It was just something that people started doing, and they would show up early and pray for the sermon, pray for the message, pray for the pastor, pray for the worship band, pray for the people that were going to walk through that door. And honestly, I thought it was amazing and something that every church should really start applying to their worship service. Whether it's in prayer meetings or coming before a worship service and just praying for everything regarding that service, Prayer is important, and I want to take you to Acts chapter 2, verse 42, to really see the importance in that. Now, just to set the context, this is in the very early church. This is just after the day of Pentecost when this particular passage is taking place, and this is referring to all the people who were just recently converted and saved. Acts 2, 42 reads, They were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and the breaking of bread and to prayer. This just shows you how important prayer was to the early church and really how important it should be for every individual believer to come together and pray, not just individually, but corporately as well. Another thing to look for is do your pastors and elders, deacons, church leadership in general, do they pray? And obviously I hope they do, but when I'm talking about praying, I'm talking about very passionately and specifically praying. Now don't dig too deep into my words about passionately. I'm just re- more so referring to, you know, do they care to actually pray or is it some mundane task that they go through because they have to because they're a pastor. And I'm not just talking about on Sunday before the sermon or after the sermon is over, but are they praying as they are writing maybe their messages and their Bible study notes or are deacons praying before the opportunity to serve somebody? Are they praying for the church's evangelistic opportunities? Are they praying for other churches outside the community so that the gospel message would advance far beyond just their four church walls. This is what I mean when it comes to your leaders in your church praying. And while there's a multitude of other things we could talk about, I'll leave one last thing on here on tangible evidence that you can see when it comes to a church that prays. And does your church pray before every decision is made. Now, this may depend on what type of church you go to and maybe how their church government is set up, but if you are maybe in a church that has membership and membership has a voting presence in there, before anything is ever brought to the church members to be voted upon, is that church praying over this? Is this stuff being pushed out ahead of time, not being brought up in the dark last minute in some secret meeting or something like that, but rather is it being broadcasted, pushed out to the members so they can pray on it before a decision is ever made? And if you've ever been to church meetings, sometimes it can seem like you are talking about some of the most mundane tasks, but I honestly think it's important to pray before even mundane tasks such as trying to figure out whether or not to upgrade the color of your carpet or replacing your pews with seats or whatever the case may be. The importance is that we are looking to God and praying to God before we make these big decisions in our church. Oftentimes, people will look at prayer as something as, oh, I am asking God for something and I'm hoping that he's going to give it to me, when a lot of the times prayer is more so us talking with God and him through that prayer conforming us more and more into the image of Christ and therefore more and more to the image of our will and therefore the answers to our prayers become much more obvious. So this was a really short video, but honestly, this is a really cut and dry, easy topic to talk about. Does your church pray? So when you are looking for a new church or currently evaluating your current church, make sure you are looking at how your church prays. And once again, if you are already a part of a local body before up and leaving because they don't pray nearly as much as you think they should, bring it up to the leadership. Talk to them about it. Don't just uproot everything and leave. Well, anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you want to hear about more topics or see more videos about what to look for in a healthy church, you can either, one, write a comment and ask. I I really get encouraged by that. Two, if you don't want to go public, you can write a at ibnwpodcast at gmail.com or you can suggest a topic that you would like talked about. 
Well, anyways, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you next time on I Believe. Now what?